Everything is all in the best condition. What the? What are you doing now? Well, I'm getting to know these motor homes a bit better. You so are. we've got intimately, intimately, very intimately. So we've got a bad earth strap on this motor home. So got a strap on. Yeah, got a strap on it, and that is the earth strap on just here. So this is your main earth that sort of supplies the whole vehicle. So if you've got an issue with this earth strap, you're gonna have an issue throughout the motorhome. So um, it wasn't actually that we had an issue with this one, but we borrowed this earth strap to make sure that our other one was good. So I can connect the battery up, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this up, make sure that we've got enough power in the batteries, and that's what I'm doing now, uh, just this morning, is charging all the motorhomes up, uh, giving them a bit of a run, letting them run for a bit, and make sure the batteries are good. Uh, again, just th following that theme from the last week or so where we've been trying to make sure uh, everything is good, our batteries with the cold weather and what have you. And then we're going to be looking at our electrics, a bit more electrics, a bit more Haynes manual again. So uh, let's get these started and we'll get on with the video. Getting low on that battery that was, so again, just making sure that we give them a bit of a start up this time of year and make sure the battery is good. Whoa, yes. Now ideally it would be a great thing to actually take them on a run and that is really going to charge your battery up, but if you can't do that, just leaving them for 15-20 minutes, just giving the odd rev here and there and that will just give a bit more of a boost back into the battery and keep those up. Right, just got to get some bits for Gailey as well, so uh, let's put these bits over on the side. So another check that we can be doing this time of year is if our caravan has sat now for sort of since October, November time, it's a great time to actually let's check our electrics on the caravan and on the car. So if you've got the possibility to actually connect up your car to the caravan and let's give our lights a check in through. Um, something again as I said previously um, going through the Haynes caravan manual which is very very good we picked up on a bit of a fault last week but in general everything else is very good so it gives us ways that we can just check our wiring um, the adapter plug so if you've got 13 pin you've only got seven on the car um, so it'll go through different ways again different ways to actually check our plugs if we need to swap a plug over it's normally easier actually just to sort of cut the um cut the wires out off the plug so that you leave all the colors left in the old plug and then you can wire the new one up a little bit easier but the oh, new plug yeah, just chop it so then you know where everything goes yeah you've still got the old wires sort of poking out so then when you've got the new one you're not going oh well, the the, the wiring diagram here says that i should have a yellow and a black and a green and a blue but actually i've got a pink an orange and they're not exactly the same so and that does happen um with the wiring quite a bit where it's different colours so they've not just used a generic sort of colour um there was something in here now i think on the 12 nns so um is generally it'll be yellow a blue a white a green brown red black and then so on but not always so um just cutting out cut the sort of wires off don't undo all the wires out of the end of your plug actually cut them off compare that then to the new one and then that's the easier way to wire it up and a lot easier to actually do it like that. Uh, that's where I was looking for, so pill allocations for the 13 pin, so uh, again once you've got a new socket it'll actually sort of tell you all the wiring colours on there but they're not always correct. Um, Again, giving your car side just a bit of a, uh, a spray up with, so this was part of the routine checks, um, checking uh, electrics on the car and again finally it sort of says some damp inhibiting spray. Um, some may cause damage to the plastic plugs and sockets but a squirt of tri-flow twice a year leaves the brass connectors clean so uh, another one is contact electrical contact cleaner is very very good just for spraying onto the actual pins on the plug 
and on the actual car and that will just clean up the the plugs on there or the pins that are on there um Sometimes they can bend, can't they? Those. Yeah, again, they'll just be out of place. On the old seven pins, you need to make sure that they're up, they're open. There's not seven. Oh, there is there. So on the older seven pin plugs, uh, the little male connectors, you just need to make sure that they're all open and not all closed up um, because that's going to cause you an issue. Uh, shall we have a look in one of the vans that we didn't look in last week, which we've got the Coachman VIP 575. It's an expensive one, this one. Expensive and uh, heavy as well. Uh, so it's the Coachman VIP Vogue. So it's a special edition. So we've got a few bits on there that isn't the sort of standard. So upholstery curtains and a few other little bits and bobs. 1,658 kilograms maximum. I spotted something in here earlier when I was doing a video on it. Oh. Nice little wireless charging. Yeah, so all all the coachmen tend to have those little wireless uh, charging pads on them. Um, lovely lighting, um, but I've got no power. Typically, I've got no power. Uh, the chef's cob. So nice chef's usable hob on there. Well, that is the proper sort of cooking one. Again, we've partnered up again for this year with Hello Fresh, so we'll be doing some bits and bobs on those again. Um, pushing bed. So it's the side island bed, but it pushes in and out. And again, that goes in really, really well during the day. So it gives you loads of space um, sort of coming around the bed during the day. And then we've got our nice big washroom at the back. Nice place for a TV. Uh, again, we've got all storage underneath of the bed as you go past as well. So we've got the carpets underneath of there at the moment. And then... I love the, uh, like the marble splash back in there. Yeah, again, very sort of hotel sort of feel isn't it that is it standard width this or is it eight foot no this is seven foot six i believe feels spacious doesn't yeah it, it does yeah I don't, i'm pretty sure it's not the eight foot wide I'm sure it is uh, i'll correct it on screen if if it is but i don't think that it is i think it is standard seven foot six but it does feel very 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 spacious and this is 27995 and it's the 2022 uh, you've got your external barbecue points external 230 volt uh, external lockers, Alco ATC, all your 13 pin electrics are standard. So lovely, lovely van. It really stands out well. Got a little cheapy just over on the side. Got the Arcadia. So again, we will probably save this till next week. We'll have a proper look in the Coachman Arcadia. Again, that's got the island bed at the back. A uh, little cheaper price range one. Uh, yeah, good little van this is, a uh, di bit different on the layout, so it's the Abbey Aventura 312 2006 2 berth, only 1200 kilograms, 1201 kilos maximum, look at that upholstery, um, you wouldn't say, I reckon that's been covered hasn't it? What year is it? 2006, yeah, so that's got, faded. no it's got to have been covered there hasn't all the curtains look lovely as well, so yeah. uh, nice little washroom on the side, combined sort of shower and toilet but it's a nice usable space and then nice kitchen. Really good usable kitchen that isn't it again. So that one's you just want come nice in. Oh yeah, you got your little electric scooter coming. Uh, we're supposed to be working, what are you doing? Someone's had a new toy, haven't they? Uh, so there'll be a video coming up on that soon. We'll put a little few clips in of that now. Um, so a bit of a, a briefer um, we've got the one motor home that we've finally got to the bottom of um, with the issues on that so that's sort of we've just got to order some new connectors and what have you and that is that completely completely done and dusted it, it chopped it's moved a wire so in brief it was literally just bad connections um, and bad wiring so that's all done dusted sorted we've just got to as i say put the new bits in there now so that that'll be that done and uh, we've got a proper full review on that little scooter coming up soon uh really good for your acarole taking your acarole up. Uh, sort of fill that up and whatever that was that was quite good fun that was and then our e-bike if you missed our e-bike that came out last week Oh gosh! Um, that was a really good e-bike. You had some good fun on that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was really good. Um, somebody kept making you go through a big puddle there, didn't they? Yeah. I don't know. It's I don't a know. Bit wet. 
don't know why uh, you have to keep going through that puddle when I got the shot the first time, to oh, be fair. Squelch the training. Never mind, never mind. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've not already hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop us a comment, and we'll see you next week, and we'll see what other tips and bits and bobs we can come up with for next week. And again, just trying to keep it different um, from things that we've done before. So, we'll see you then. See you later. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark at the Caravan Place. <laughs>